Hello gorgeous Geminis, this is Devs and this is of course your TGIF for Friday the 8th of March 2024. Gems, I hope you're all well out there, healthy, happy and safe. Let's jump in and find out how your person feels about you. The deck that I'm using is the Gold Foil Tarot. Uh, bear with me guys, it's a bit tricky to shuffle. <laughs> it's simply made out of foil metal, but the images are lovely. So let's get into this and find out what may be happening for you over the next few days. Although, as you know, it could be a message coming through now for later on down the line. So Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading from my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Friday the 8th of March 2024. What have we got for my lovely Geminis, please Michael, over this period of time? Thank you, Michael. It's such a weird vision I'm getting through. I'm seeing a little boy in a sweet shop trying to choose between two chocolate bars. And he's saying, that one, no, that one. Um, yes, no, that one, no, that one. He can't make up his mind. <laughs> Jim and I, do you have a choice between two people? Or are you just indecisive right now about something that you want? Should I go for it? Shouldn't I? That sort of thing. Okay. Maybe your person thinks you're being indecisive, Jam. We will see. We will see, guys. <laughs> Trying to choose between two people, maybe. And these cards will not be picked up. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Okay, Jam, you trying to pick someone up? Are they uh, not sure? <laughs> I'm messing with you guys. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's unreal. Two of pentacles. I don't know. Uh, yes, no, yes, no. Um, I'm hearing which one do I want? Okay. Gemini, your person may feel as if you're a little bit indecisive. Queen of pentacles. Okay. They see you, Gemini, sat in the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. Oh. And they also feel as if you're thinking about a Queen of Cups. Tower. Okay. Two of Swords. Wow. Okay, Gemini. Your person believes that you have found out about another woman. And because of that, you're undecided as to whether or not you want to commit to your person or not. It may be, Gemini, you're undecided as to whether or not you should be angry that your person may have been messaging someone else. But then again, you may be feeling as if your hackles are up, you know, should I fight for this person? Because I know that there's another queen around. I think there was a tower moment. And since you found out about the other woman, you have blocked your person. And I think you've been pulling back to try and make a decision. Do I fight for this guy or do I potentially walk away with the knowledge that there might have been another woman he was messaging. Should I feel angry about this? You actually don't know what to think. <laughs> so Gemini, your person sees you as I think the Queen of Pentacles because you've had a tower moment about a Queen of Cups. Your person wants to know, Gemini, are you wanting to be with them? Because I feel they would... Move this into a commitment if you said yes. Or are you going to stay in your head? You're a bit worried making a decision either way. Wow. Because your guy is wanting to get really serious with you. So the conversation may have been, I'm so sorry, I was messaging somebody else, but you're the person I want to be with. If you say yes, Gemini, then let's move into the energy of the Ten of Pentacles. Let's get really serious. But you're not sure what to do. 
Do you trust this person now? Or are you kind of flattered that they want to be with you and you're just making them wait? The death card. Yeah, so Gemini, you have a choice to end this and walk away or transform the situation and say yes to commitment. Now, the other woman could have been a Scorpio with a death card. Nine of Wands. You don't quite know what to do. It's as if you hate the fact that your guy has been communicating with somebody else. But what you're also thinking about is, well, yes, but he said he wants to commit to me, not her. So do I say, OK, let's get serious or do I walk away because the trust is gone? You actually can't figure out what you want to do. So your person sees you in your head sitting in limbo about commitment. Yeah, four of swords. Gemini, you don't know what to do. Do I just sit feeling a bit heartbroken that he was interested in somebody else or do I get up and fight for the relationship? And say, yes, let's move into a serious commitment. You don't know what to do. Wheel of Destiny. You may feel that it was destiny that you two met. But Five of Wands, there's been a set to because there's competition. You found out about this Queen of Cups. Should you just let the two of them get on with it, even though this guy really wants to be with you? Or should you stay and fight for this? Nine of Pentacles. Gemini, you're thinking about the fact that you are single. You're sitting in the Nine of Pentacles, pre-Empress energy. You don't need to move into a relationship. There's a lot of self-respect. There's a lot of self-worth. Do I want a relationship, thinks Gemini? Yeah, judgment. The divine is saying, be careful what you wish for. They're asking you to make a serious life-changing decision because this guy is talking to you about the Ten of Pentacles. He may be saying to you, Gemini, if you say yes, we're going to get engaged. Or if you say yes, we're going to talk about moving in together. So because of that, you know that he doesn't have really deep feelings for the Queen of Cups, but you're still a little bit annoyed that the option for him was there. <sighs> Underneath the deck gem, we have the Ace of Wands. Okay. He's offering you a passionate new start, but with a hangman, you don't know what to do. Now, you may have found out that your guy had a one night stand with a Pisces. You're feeling a bit defensive. It's as if I don't know whether or not to move forward. Saying to this guy, OK, well, you're welcome to this Queen of Cups. Obviously, you prefer her over me. But then what you're thinking about is he does want to commit and get serious. So rather than sitting in a little bit of pride and ego, should I just say, OK? Or am I better off single? Seven of Cups, you are totally confused as to what you want to do. You may be thinking there are other people out there. Maybe I should look for someone else. Because with the Five of Pentacles, this guy did leave you out in the cold. At some point, he moved towards this Queen of Cups. Five of Cups. You may be feeling that if you took him back, he might cheat on you. If you moved into a really serious relationship, he would end up being unfaithful after a period of time. Again, this is someone who wants to get serious. So, my lovely Geminis, let's get some messages from the angel. Let's see what they suggest you do. Let's do that. Archangel Michael, what is the advice from the angels, please, for my lovely Geminis? What is the advice and guidance for my gems? Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Gemini, they're not going to help you. Basically, they're saying it's up to you. What do you want to do, Gem? How do you feel? Do you love this man? 
Or do you feel as if you don't want him to be with the Queen of Cups? You may feel that if you say no, he's going to head towards the Queen of Cups. What is the guidance from the angels, Michael? Okay. Gemini, what the angels are saying is there is someone better out there for you. You may know that. Within the next few weeks, there's a suggestion here, Gemini, that if you say to him, I'm not interested, you could meet someone in the next few weeks. Yeah, there's going to be a new opportunity, potentially someone new coming in in the next few weeks. Ask for help from others. So you may want to put this to a friend of yours or a family member. You know what? I'm in this really difficult situation. I've been dating this guy. I found out he may have been interested in someone else. He's now saying he wants to get serious. What do I do? But I think the angels are saying, let him go. If the trust is gone, Jem, but it's up to you. Wow, be assertive. Okay. They may suggest that you stand your ground with him. Or be assertive pertaining to choosing a new direction, i.e. if you want to be with a Queen of Cups, be my guest. I don't want to be with a guy who may have been interested in somebody else. But you've been trying to make a decision, Two of Pentacles. Do I say yes? Do I say no? Let's get some messages, Gem. Let's see how this guy really feels. Archangel Michael, how does this guy really feel about Gemini? What's the truth of his feelings? I do love you. I just don't know how to show you right now. Yeah, probably because you're angry. <laughs> <laughs> probably because you're angry Jem. okay yeah all right i sabotaged this connection and i regret it followed by please be patient because i'm afraid of commitment now Jem, isn't that a massive red flag i mean he's wanting to get serious with you he's talking about long-term commitment but if the truth were known this is a guy who may be a bit non-committal I've just seen 1616 16 on the clock. It may mean something to someone. Did a card flip over? The universe is fighting for our souls to be together. Gemini, you could be dealing with somebody quite strategic. He may be, in the nicest sense, buttering you up a little bit. Oh, but Gemini were soulmates. Oh, but we're meant to be together. We met for a reason. The universe wants us to be together. Mm, but he's afraid of commitment, if the truth be known. He does love you, but he knows that he screwed up. What are you going to say to him, Gemini? Wow, I never want to see you again. You hurt me. Okay, you two are at this present time definitely in separation. Goodness me. I don't understand what this connection really is. Gemini, you may feel very attracted to him, but you may not understand why you feel this pull. Because any other woman in their right mind would say, hell no, if you've been trying to make a decision between me and the Queen of Cups, <laughs> Go for the Queen of Cups, be my guest. But no, you're considering fighting for this. Mm, Gemini. Yeah, you hate the distance between you two. It doesn't feel good. Well, yeah, but it's not your fault, right? And I have to say, in all fairness, it's not the fault of this Queen of Cups. It's your guy who doesn't really seem to know if he wants to commit, although he's going to tell you it's meant to be. 
What else are you going to say to him, Jem? Okay. You may come to understand that this guy is a karmic. And actually, both of you met to learn lessons. So he may, I'm sorry, I'm hearing the words bang on about soulmates. We're supposed to be together. Gemini, you may end up turning around to him and saying, um, I'm sorry, but I think you're just a comic. I'm sorry. I was trying to figure out what this connection was. I don't like being away from you, but you hurt me. And so what I feel deep down is I don't really want to see you again. I don't care if you're offering me a diamond ring. I don't care if you're saying, let's move in together. I don't think that this is good for me. And of course, Jen, the angels are saying, be assertive, choose a new direction. There's something better. An opportunity is going to come up in the next few weeks. And I believe this is an opportunity in love. So Gemini, let's move into the second reading. Let's see who else is coming into your life. Let's see what the alternative is for you. But I think you're probably going to turn around and say no to this guy, to this offer. All right, see you in the next reading. Okay, Gem, let's jump into the Sanctus Concordia. Here we go, guys. Archangel Michael, who else is coming in to Gemini's life? Page of Wands, yes. Gem, you could be starting to communicate with someone, could be a younger fire sign, or simply this is you flirting with someone. Hmm. Eight of Swords, you're sat in your head about the wheel of destiny who actually am I supposed to be with do I move into a new cycle do I not I'm not sure I'm not sure Jem okie dokie let's see what's going on so here we have you messaging someone someone else Thinking about moving into a new cycle. Should I do this? Shouldn't I? Should I give this guy a chance? I don't know. Okay. All right. Four of Wands. Okay. Gemini, you are seriously considering moving into a new cycle with this guy. You are flirting with someone else, but what you're thinking about is he is offering me a very serious relationship. I mean, this could be a guy, Gem, who's saying to you, look, if you forgive me, if you say yes, we move into a brand new cycle and we get engaged. That's how much you mean to me. Oh, Gem. You are so the twins this particular week. Eight. Oh, God. Or do you walk away? Gemini, you're confusing me. Or do you walk away? Oh, strength card. You just don't know what to do. So right now, you're holding back. You're holding back from making any decision. Gemini, you need to get out of your head. One of the twins has got to win. Okay? You're the twins. So, Page of Wands, you are flirting with someone, you're thinking about the Wheel of Fortune, I want to move into a new cycle, but is it with this guy to get serious, or is it walking away from this guy? You're holding back from making any type of decision. You're sat on the fence. King of Wands. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Again, Gemini, you just don't know what to do. Six of Cups. This is you, again, just in indecision. I find this guy so attractive, but I do want an equal give and take relationship. But with the Ace of Wands, he probably had a one night stand with this woman. But we have history together. I mean, Gem, off and on and off and on and off and on. What am I going to do with you guys? Six of Swords. 
You simply want to move to calmer waters. And by that, I mean you simply want to make a decision and stick to it. But you don't seem to be able to do that. The fear is real. What if I walk away and he gets serious with somebody else and I've missed the chance of moving into a beautiful, serious relationship? What if I don't meet anyone else? But what if I say yes and he cheats? Seven of Pentacles. Gemini, you may have been with this guy for quite a long time. You're looking at the past. With the Two of Cups, you two did fall in love. The Hermit. Virgo. He could be a Virgo. Or you are doing a lot of thinking, Gemini, about what you want. And that doesn't help anyone, does it? Well, says Gemini, I just want to be happy. I just want to move forward and be with somebody that I can grow with, expand with. Well, yes, but you have to make a decision one way or the other. Does he make you happy? Can you see yourself building a life with him? Do you believe him when he says, I would want to be with you forever and be loyal and faithful? Do you believe him? Under the deck, nine of pentacles. So at the moment, Gemini, you guys have broken up is what I'm getting. And you're sat as a single feminine. We have a king of pentacles who wants to commit to you, possibly a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. But knight of wands, this is someone who wasn't faithful to you or he started flirting with somebody else. There was another woman in the mix, Gem. With the energy of the lovers, your card of Gemini, you have to make a decision. Four of Swords, you don't know what to do. It's like complete stalemate. Four of Swords is, I just need some time. Five of Wands is, you know, do I end it? I mean, do I just walk away from this or do I fight off the competition? Gemini, you are completely stuck. What is Gemini going to do? What is Gemini going to do? Ten of Pentacles. Gemini, are you going to say yes? Oh, Gem, are you going to change your mind? Okay. The Chariot. Gemini, if you were in a relationship before, you may be thinking about the fact that you walked away from a long-term commitment, possibly with a Cancerian, and you don't want to get too serious with someone if you're not absolutely certain yet. You may be thinking, what am I doing here? I'm pushing away a very serious offer for long-term commitment. The Magician, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini. I mean, do you manifest the Ten of Pentacles? Do you manifest moving on? <laughs> you can't make a decision, Gemini. Three of Cups, do you get out there and be young, free and single and just see who else you meet? Or do you reunite with this guy? Four of Cups, you're not actually that excited about new love, but you're also not thrilled about saying yes to long-term commitment because maybe the trust is gone. Anything else? What is Gem going to do? High Priestess, you're going to use your intuition to try and make a decision. Ten of Cups. Gemini, you're trying to figure out at this point what is going to make you happy. Imagine yourself walking away from this guy for good. Would you be devastated, actually? Or would you not be? Imagine the future with this guy. What are you going to do? Knight of Pentacles. This is his energy, Gem. 
What are you going to say? Oh, Gemini, the moon. <sighs> Gemini, I'm sorry. This is you saying, I don't know what to do. I don't actually know what to do. I'm afraid of saying yes. I'm afraid of saying no. I, I, I need more time. Underneath the deck, the nine of wands. You're just really stressed out. You're stressed out. Because Gemini, with the Four of Pentacles, you're hanging on to him, right? You don't really want to let him go. But what's in the back of your mind is Ace of Cups. I, I might be able to find somebody else who may not have a pension for flirting with other women. Gemini, it's up to you what you do. Think about how you feel about this guy. Could you really trust him going forward? If you feel you can, and this was just a massive mistake he made, then go for it. But be sure about the decision you make. Let's have a look at what the universe wants to say. Let's um, ask their advice. Archangel Michael, what is the advice from the universe for my Gemini's gem? You are stuck in your head. You have no idea what to do. Celebration. Okay. What the divine is saying is it might be an idea to embrace change. Okay. You're ready to bring in new and exciting things into your life. The divine may be bringing someone else in. Key. New beginnings, directions and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. Gemini, I think, I think the angels are suggesting you let this guy go. I think that's what they're suggesting. New beginnings, bring the new into your life. Judgment. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. This is a big decision for you to make, Gemini. Moon. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. We have a two and a one, which is three. Don't sit in fear. Move ahead confidently. Gemini, I think the divine is suggesting that you walk away. But it's, it is up to you. All right, let's close out with a message from Archangel Michael. So Archangel Michael, what advice and guidance do you have for my lovely Geminis, please, to close out this reading? Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. And the prayer reads, I appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me courage and strength. So, Gemini, whatever it means for you, admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. Okay? All right. My beautiful gems, I am leaving the reading there. I hope you've enjoyed it. Whatever you're up to this weekend, have a good one. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, gems.